Hey, what's going on everybody? Walker here with episode 9 of my Thumb Craft Let's Play series. That is really, really cool. I didn't think I would uh, have the patience to last this long. See, normally I play on server play, and server play is like, hey, come over here and check out what I did. Well, videos is kind of the same, right? So, what I really want to be making, okay, is this little tool from Thonic Tinkerer. It's called an Osmotic Enchanter, all right? And I am more than capable of making this. I have the, tool, the all the, the materials I need. I can make an enchantment table, and I can certainly get all of this essentia together, okay? The instability is dangerous, and I am working on reducing the instability of my infusion altar. And I'll show you that in a second. Now, the problem I've got is the V requirement for this. See, what happens is, is when you when you set this up, what? Okay, look, look, let's explain what the Osmotic Enchanter does, shall we? You can pick the enchantments you want to apply to any item that the enchanter will take, okay? You pick them. You select them. You select the level you want. And then you put your wand in the table and you say go, and it uses V from the wand to enchant the item. No levels needed, no uh, mod essence needed, yada yada. It's all automatic. It just it's it's ridiculously it's it's a broken tool. Okay, it's uh, I'm sorry, but it is a broken tool because once you get it set up, it, you pretty much you will never use an enchanting table ever again for anything. Um, but it does use V from your wand, and because my current wand only holds 50 V at a time, where did I put that darn thing? There it is. I'm gonna need you. It only holds 50 V at a time, it means I'm gonna be making a lot of trips to charge it to finish just one item. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new wand t today. We're gonna make a thomium capped silver wood wand. Okay. Now I've already made the caps. The caps are made just like any other cap. You take the ingot, you break it down into nuggets, you put it in a move that over there. N shape in the, the table grid. And these ones are a little bit different because they require just a little bit of V out of your wand. So you do have to do it in this table. You can't just do it over here. Now the other problem with the Thaumium caps is they're inert. You actually have to charge the darn things in a altar. And then your silver wood wand core, okay, you also make that in an altar. And you need these balance shards, which again, I already took the time to make these because they're kind of time consuming. But pretty much you throw a shard into your crucible or your construct and then you uh, just put the other two of all the other Essentia primals in and it will spit out a balance shard. So if I throw in a Ordo shard, okay, I throw in everything but Ordo Essentia and it will spit out a balance shard, okay? So that's the balance shard and then for the Thaumium caps, I need Sally Simundus, okay, which is just a balance shard smelted down. Do not throw your balance shard into the furnace. I don't know if it's a bug or what, but I threw one in and it never came out. So I did, I, I, I broke down between videos. Oh, okay, fine. One of my videos is done. Between videos, I uh, went out, I got a whole mess of shards specifically for this, and while I was out, I got a whole mess of iron to try and alleviate some of that, so. So. So buttons, right? All right, so we set up our table like this. I'm not moving my pedestals, so that's how I have it set up. It will work. I've done it before. 
Now you also notice I moved my candles a bit to make it more aesthetically pleasing. And I've also added crystal clusters. Yep, crystal clusters, which for those who don't know how to make, it's just six shards in a crafting grid will make your cluster, okay? Those also help reduce instability. There's one more item that helps reduce instability. Uh, well, several more items. They're mob heads, okay? And as we all know, in vanilla Minecraft, you need to have a charged creeper explode near a mob to have it drop its head. Unless we're talking wither skellies, and I am not prepared to jump into the nether just quite yet and hunt down wither skellies. There is an item added in by Forbidden Magic called the Axe of the Skull Taker. Now I've already researched it. I do know about this one because I've played with Forbidden Magic. The problem with, okay, so let's read this real quick. Some monsters just really boil your blood. Skeletons! Always clacking around and using you for target practice. Or those creepers, they just creep around blowing things up like they own the place. You wish you could just chop all their smug heads off and place them on pikes. Fortunately, you discovered an item that you do to just that. The Axe of the Skull Taker has a chance to remove the heads of monsters it slays. It might even work on other humans. Unfortunately, the infusion leaves the axe far too bloodthirsty to effectively cleave through boring plant matter. I would love to make this right now, but look at what it needs. Yup. So, we're just going to have to settle for crystal clusters to help reduce some of the instability. And candles. We'll make more candles. Uh, so right now we're going to make the core. Now I'm going to be paying attention because as you can see the lightning's throwing out. It's a little bit more unstable than I'd like it to be. Um, so I'm going to just keep running around and paying attention because there is a chance it could knock one of these shards off an altar and I want to be there ASAP to put it back up. So that's why I'm kind of strafing around here. Now I can take a look and see it's almost done. Hopefully I have enough of everything and hopefully it doesn't knock anything off while I'm doing this. This is the worst part of infusion. Okay, it's pulling the one that I'm scared that it could... There's also a chance it could just blow up the item and turn it into taint flux, so... So far, so good. So far, so good. Come on, one more, one more, one more, one more. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay, we're in the clear. There we go. We got our silver wood rod. Pow. Next up, we got to do each of these, okay? So this is, if I remember right, one there, one there, one there. Let's make sure I did this right. Yep, one, two, three. It needs 12 potentium, six aurum. This is one that I will, like, triple check. Oh. Wait, did it say six or 12? Please say six. Okay, good. It was 12 potentia. I have plenty of potentia, I have plenty of aurum. Because if you run out while it's trying to infuse, it'll just sit there, becoming more and more unstable over time. That might be causing a little bit of instability. Well, now that I can, like, jump up and take care of it, I guess I'll just punch it. Okay. And I'm sure the floor not being finished is probably contributing to it. I don't know. I was... Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll ask Azanor. I don't know. Alright, this one... It's also scary. Up, oh, see? There it goes. Did it just knock it off? Put one up there. Oh, oh. Okay, wait. It, it pulled that one in, so we're good on that. See what I mean? It just knocked it off. It blew it up. It's gone. Gone forever. And on that note, I'm going to make one more shard so I have extra salus for this next one. Alright, so I have a charge cap next to an inert cap. And you can see it's kind of glowing. 
So my next goal is to get this one charged. <sighs> All right. Well, I was hoping I wouldn't have to waste time uh, doing this, but... Do, 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 do. And there, one, two, three, four, five. I need, because I'm using Preditio, I need an Ordo shard. Well, I'm using everything but Ordo. I need an Ordo shard, I should say. Throw that in the construct, lock it into place, and it should start. Any time now. Hello. Um. I. I am unfamiliar with why this is not working. It should work. What's going on? I. I did lock it right. What the heck? Hey! Ah, okay, there's... That was weird. Maybe it's because... See, I've, I've never really gotten... Uh, understood how the suction in the pipes work. Maybe it's because... Air, which was the first one I needed, was further away from... The construct than the other uh, ones. Never quite understood that. Okay, let's go. Put that there, put that there, and put that there. Double check that we have enough. We do. Also, if you're missing something and it stalls, just like crucible without this this thing will um, what would you call that evaporate it'll lose stored essentia in the runic matrix all right let's hope that it only knocks one off if not I do have that still set up so we might be able to there all righty Oh, this is a good spot. Ah! It did it again! Look at that! You jerk! Oh no! Please, please just say that you already pulled that in. Nope. Flub balls. Shoot, I'm gonna have to cancel that. Ah, uh, and there goes some flux into the sky into the night sky. Speaking of night... Oh! Well, I thought too soon. Oh. Alright. Tell you what, I will be right back as I go and get some more Salus Mundus and I go and find some more Aurum. And, uh, we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. And you notice I'm not at my base. That's because I wanted to just show you guys. This is what I'm talking about, the totem here. And that is a sinister node. And, oh, I need a little bit. Oh, there's no. I'm going to have to find some Perditio on my way home. I'm going to back up for just a second. Let's. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh. Oh? Oh. It doesn't tell me. I think I, if I remember, I need a, real, a full wand of, uh, to make my next wand. But I'm going to break this node here. And this actually works for any node. I just say these particular ones, because sinister nodes are semi-useless. Semi-useless. They're, they're, they're useful because they have a lot of, uh, useful compound sentia in them, but they're useless because you can't really tap into those anyway. So what we're going to do is, first of all, where am I? Oh, wow. Eh. 
we need to get down. I didn't mean to get that high. Hmm, what are you? After this, if there's time, I'm gonna make something that's gonna alleviate some of my scanning concerns. I just realized, uh, not realized, I had uh, researched some of Thonic Horizons, and I'm actually wearing one of the items that I researched. Uh, I cheated a little. I didn't show you guys me making it because I wanted to. Uh, well, I wanted to get the mining for shards done and over with off camera because it's kind of redundant and boring. But as I was doing it, I thought to myself, well, there's that one item from Thonic Horizons that will make me not have to torch the heck out of the tunnels and then run out of torches because I over torch. Where am I? Oh, okay, that's fine. And so I made it. And I was so impressed with it that I'm going to make another one of them. Ah, Wolfie. Don't worry, I'm going to collect some of you guys to be my friends. I thought I saw another one over here. I guess not. I thought I did, but I guess not. We're just going to keep going home. There's plenty of nodes on the way home. Oh, maybe it was that one I saw. I think that's just a Terra. Terra node. Yeah, it's just a Terra node. Okay, let's just keep going. We need to turn west. Maybe we'll have uh, this map filled in. I don't remember if there's an X1 up from this. I mean, I guess if I throw it in a table with paper, it'll be obvious, but... Oh, how much did I get for... Oh, yeah, that's plenty. So, so each one of these is, you know, you break it down... Oh, really? I can scan each one of those? No, I can't. For so Something is off. Like, you know I've scanned dirt. That's the first thing I scanned. Something's off. It's not showing me... I don't know if it's because of the illuminate lids or what, but something's weird. Oh well, whatever. We need to get home. We have a limited amount of time to do this in, and I want to get one more thing done. I don't want to spend a whole episode making just a silver wood wand. I mean, I could, uh, cut to going home. I think I'll do that. Let's let's just uh we'll cut to me getting home, okay? And full. Okay, welcome back everybody. I just remembered I had a Perditio node over just a bit uh west of my house. So instead of going straight home, I went by home and then filled up my wand. So Whoa, Vizroom. Whoa! Pit yeah, damn, we're gonna... Oh, once we get the Osmatic Enchanter, we're not gonna have any worries of falling down holes or stuff like that. So, we're going to throw... Let's start with the primals. Get those cooked up. We need... We don't need much. Actually, what we threw in there is going to be plenty. Let that draw out. It's two per. Okay, that should be good. Okay, we still have plenty of that. Oh, that's right. We, we left it to cook. It's like, oh no, where'd it go? The cap's still in the grid or table, or altar, or whatever. Alright, just work. Just work. I know, it's not totally stable, but come on. Whoa, it's doing way better than it did before. Holy crap, look at it go. 
I can't believe it blew that one up just as it got done. All right. So now I have extra Sally Smundus, which is fine because we use it for other stuff too. Throw that in there. I um, found some more treasure. Well, what happens is some mobs spawn uh, as uh, like super Thawncraft mobs. Oh, splash potion. I was going to say, no, that's not a splash potion of healing. I know what a splash potion healing is. It has sun on it. <gasps> Another ender pearl. Yeah, I think we're probably going to rely on special treasure for ender pearls for a while anyway. And they always, almost always have gold coin in them. Okay, let's get rid of some of this stuff. I know, I know. Dirt doesn't belong in that box. Get over it. I know gunpowder gun powder doesn't either. Get over it. Okay, let's see here. With the silver, did I scan? Yes, I did. Oh, did I not scan the charged? Or is it just being a pain again? Nope, I didn't scan the charged. Always scan everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, that ain't good. Oh, no! So. You'll note we have insufficient V to make this. 49. Oh, because it was... Wait, what was it? Oh, it was filling my bar. Doesn't matter, because I don't have enough... I, 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 keep, I need to make... Shoot. Well, I wasn't planning on doing this anytime soon. Do I have any more? No? Okay, fine. Get me my clippers. We need to go here. Look at that, a full episode dedicated to making one item. One measly annoying item. Where are them cheap? Where are the Jeez, crow! Freaking death from above! Holy criminy! Come here. This is scary out here. Oh my god. Did you see that? He just leapt off that mushroom after me. Where'd the other one go? You're naked. I saw one more. Three, four, five. I want to make the shirt. Yeah, I hear. Yeah! There. I'll do death from above. Ha! Yeah, I hear the other one. Where is he? There's you. Pigs, come up here, get a better view from above. There's one. Uh, whoa, hey buddy. Here, let me help you out. Give me your wool. Let me see, five, six, seven, eight, that's enough. Hopefully enough string to do this. Yeah, I'm not attacking you because you guys never give me what I want. So, you can just stay there. I don't care. No, no! At least it was over there. I'll have holes everywhere. Because I tend to not fill them in. Enough string. I need four times eight. Yeah, I don't have enough string either. All right. Um. What's my alternative? Two, one, two, seven, seven, fourteen. I'm. Not gonna have enough string for that either. And it would help if I put it in the right crafting grid. Uh-huh. Well 
guess what? I know of a way to get some string. You want to come with me? And you'll see to a world of pure idolation. I know it's not the right words. String! <laughs> ah! Ah! Hey! Hey! Hi! I didn't see you there. Okay. That was kind of gross. Alright, that'll give me another... Give me four. That's enough for the boots, but I need more than that. I need, uh... I need the 2%. I might need a full freaking suit of it, actually. Five. I thought boots of the Traveler gave me. Well, we're going to be spider hunting, I guess. Ah. No. He got armor on. That's a bait now. Yeah. Okay, there was another one over here. Man. Ugh. And there's a witch over there. Oh, God. And there's like a billion wisps. because they don't spawn as often as I need them to. Oh, look at that. There's like five. Well, they're also a pain to, to fight. Oh, nope, can't get up there. Now, was there one more over here? There was, wasn't there? How much string do I got now? Fourteen. That'll get me another three. Six. Shoot. Okay, I tell you what. I'm going to cut. I'm going to find some more string. Because uh, I'm running low on time. And I don't want to... I really want to make something other than just this wand. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, everybody. And... Ah! Okay. Now we're back, everybody. And uh, I just took the liberty of charging my wand. Because... Um... What was I going to say? Yeah, because I used up a lot of it. You know what? We're going to let the heater finish clicking. I can't believe that thing's still going off. Alright, that should be good. Yo, everyone, we're back. Okay, so, a couple of things. Number one, I made myself a full set of Thaumaturge's robes to get the full maximum discount. I had to go all the way, let me see if it's on my map, oops, all the way, it was, um, uh, shoot, where was it? It was over here somewhere, there was a cavern that went all the way down to in abandoned mine shaft and I found uh, some cobwebs and luckily I didn't have to tackle the spiders but okay we got all of everything on and that still only ma makes us need 54 of each right but thankfully that also gives us 89% which should be plenty oh yeah so <laughs> there. Okay, all done. We now have our thalmy embossed silver wood wand. You can stay right there for now. Um, you guys are coming off. You're going back on. Because I don't want those to get damaged. And they're pretty much useless as armor. Uh, we're going to put that in there. There. Uh, 
I'll sort between episodes. I'm just trying to empty my load a little bit here. Okay. So I got my silver wood wand. Hooray for me. I am going to spend some time filling it because now we can go up here, all the way up here, research a node in a jar and bring some nodes home for us to use, okay? We'll do that next episode, but before I leave today, I just wanted to get into Thomic Horizons here. I've already made this one. I, I did break down and use some gold to make this one. The Illumine Lens. Okay, this is really cool. It works very similar to how wand focus work, which I haven't gotten into wand focus, but anyone who's seen the video knows how wand focus work. I'm going to take it off the lens itself. This works with your goggles of revealing. So let's come downstairs and uh, we'll break a bunch of torches somewhere that we don't worry about so much. Yeah, let's hack. Go down here. Oh. Pfft. Silly me. I got some. There. Okay. And there should be. Hmm. Why is it still illuminating? Well, that shouldn't matter. Yeah, I guess it does matter. I'm not sure what that's all about. Glitch. Alrighty, so see how it's nice and dark? Well, if I put on this... Now I have night vision. Yay! And it shows up there. Uh, it doesn't work underwater, though. It actually is horrible underwater. Ready? Um. Hmm. It's interesting. Maybe it's because I'm outside, so. Oh, yeah, that's probably the reason why I guess I'm outside. Anyway, it makes it super dark underwater when I'm down in the dungeons, anyway. So there's that one, the first one. Okay. Anything that adds a night vision ability to my helmet and doesn't remove the use of the helmet is a plus to me, okay? That's like Tinker's Construct uh, Traveler's Helmet where you can add the night vision to it. That is a plus in my book. So, well done, Sa. Well done. I'll, there's three more. I can't make this one... Well, I could make this one, actually. Yeah, I can make this one. I don't want to make this one just quite yet. Oh, no, wait. I can't make it because I need Eye of the Ender. I don't have any blaze powder, so this one sounds kind of cool. It lets you see living objects or undead objects through walls. That'd probably be really useful for when I'm traveling. This is the one I really want to make, okay? And I have the tools to make it. I just gotta get that stuff. But what this thing does is it turns your um, goggles of revealing into a portable thermometer that you don't even have to have in your inventory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this together real quick and we're going to make it. So what I need is a whole mess of census. And census can be found... How much do I have left? I don't have any left. Well, I know spider eyes have census. Let's keep that so that we can test it because I haven't scanned it yet. And I don't have very much stuff in here that I haven't scanned yet. But guess what else has census on it? For some reason. Oh, it's doing that again. What the heck? Dandelions have census, so. And all flowers do. So we're just gonna go around and we're gonna get how much do I need? Twenty. Twenty. Twenty-four. So we're just gonna go ahead. Uh oh. So you see how my screen's darkening a little bit? That is warp. It's actually one of the the most uh, harmless forms of warp. Hi, where were you like half an hour ago? It's one of the most harmless forms of warp. Just gives you a little bit of a what's going on. Let's 
let's see, 24. All right, we're not going to be fighting these guys. We're coming over here. We're going to throw this in the cookery, and then we're going to work on... Oops. New. You have to go in there. Uh -huh, you can't get me. Uh -huh. Magic 12. Well, I already have 12 magic, so I don't need to worry about that. Oops. And Cognito 12, I can get from paper. Let's see. See, it worked there. Okay, so I got pretty much everything I need. Now I also need an order shard, an entropy shard, a scribing tool, and a book. So, one, two, three, and a leather. And I should still have that. And I can use that. And I should have a feather down here somewhere. Do I? <laughs> feather. Feather. I used it all for Velatus, didn't I? Let's see if there's a chicken right nearby. Uh oh, I'm almost out of food. I think I saw some this way. Maybe I'll get lucky and... Aye! No! Oh, wow. I heard a chicken over here, and... There it is. Please? Thank you. Whoa! We need to get some personal defenses set up. This is just getting a little redundant. Okay. So that should be done cooking those ones. So let's throw those ones in there. I'm trying to get this done as fast as I can because I know I'm way over 30. Not that that's stopped me so far. Okay, scribing tools, book. I need ordo and entropy. And a pane of glass. Okay. Pane of glass in the center. Ordo entropy. And then a book. Ordo entropy. Ordo entropy. Book. Scribing tools. I need, sorry, Eater. Oh, I had some freaking jars anyway. I need none of that, right? Cognito census. County. So don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Yeah, I know I'm wasting Essentia really bad here, but I'm trying to speed this up. Oh, I should have known that was going to happen. I was actually thinking that uh, a little bit earlier. I was looking, I was like, oh, those skeletons probably still be able to hit me. Now, I could put um, bellows on all three sides of this thingy to speed it up. Actually, four sides. I can put one on the bottom, too. I mean, probably five sides, but then the hitbox is a pain. See, Azanor made the hitbox, so, uh, you know, because that's how it has to be, the animation, but still. So, one side at least has to remain free. Okay. That. Um. Oh, shoot. I never did put the Cognito in. Oh, sh nope. Well, that's fine. Next episode, we'll look at labeling jars and transferring what we made our mistakes through.
thought I heard a... Come on, come on. Is that all? Is that all I needed? 12? 12. Okay, drop that down. Why do I feel like I'm missing something? Because I am. Census. Drop that down. Hit it with our brand new wand. This should be really cool. If this works. Now see the negligible instability when I had the little tiny sparks? Now there's nothing. I could walk away from this and not be worried. So it's always a good idea to try and uh, get your altar as stable as possible. This one is so... I mean, usually, I, 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 this whole center area is usually filled with stuff. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pow! Check that out. It's not super cool looking. It's just what it does sounds cool. And the other thing I'm not happy about and if you can mod owner whose name I don't remember off the top of my head. Let me see if I can't remember, uh, find it real quick. Kentington, if, if you could find a way to like adjust the texture of the goggles so that one lens is the lens that you're using, that would be really cool. But I digress. So check okay look at that look at that that's kind of cool that's actually useful in more than just a see it's trying but it won't ever same with that that's actually really really neat oh you know what ah ah no no <laughs> Let's go inside, shall we? Okay, so. What haven't I scanned? I haven't scanned a gold ingot yet. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Takes a little bit longer, but <laughs> that is really cool, actually. I like that. I also like that you can look at stuff and oh, I never did the candles. That is so okay. That is almost as good, if not better, than the illumining lens. Okay. That's really useful. Look at this. I mean, I, I'm I'm actually speechless on that. What a great upgrade, Scholar's Lens. Okay, and so with that, we are gonna end the episode for now. And uh, if you guys like this episode, please give me a like down below. Subscribe and uh, feel free to give me comments, good, bad, whatever, anything to help me improve the videos would be great. And feel free to subscribe to my channel and you'll be able to see some more Minecraft videos from me and my Dwarf Fortress Let's Play Through videos. And as always, we will catch you guys later.